It's disappointing, of course, it hurts again, but um, it's tough to be too disappointed when, you know, you've come to San Jose, a team who had a big win last week and you've probably, for the majority, outplay, outplayed them, created some really good chances on their pitch and um, go back to Seattle tomorrow with without three points. Well, you know, it's a matter of us continuing to work at it. We know at times we're playing good soccer. I didn't think... Uh, I didn't think the second half was particularly good soccer from us. You know, I think we played better soccer in the other three games. Uh, I thought the first half at times we played some very good stuff. Um, you know, so we just, you know, we got to make sure we can, we can put 90 minutes together on the field. You know, I think we're still pretty confident. We're, like I said, the guys in there are disappointed. We're not going to kid ourselves and say that it's good enough. It's not. This club has set a really high standard. We expect a lot. But I don't think we're panicking at all. Um, personally, I'm not panicking. I don't think the guys are panicking because, um, Again, we've left it all on the pitch, just like against Houston last week. We gave everything for 90 minutes. Uh, San Jose know they were in a game, and this is a tough place to come and play on that little stadium and stuff. But um, to create a chance, we did to score two goals and not win. That's what's disappointing. So um, we kind of go away and have to prepare for Chicago next week, and, and we're still confident we get that win. Um, teams are not outplaying us. We're not being killed by teams right now, so that would be a concern. So that hasn't happened. So um, I think for us, it's just a case of once we do get that win, maybe you go on some kind of run. So um, that's at least two games unbeaten. If you want to look at the Positive side of it, two games with multiple good goal scoring chances created, two games where we have scored. Everyone said we couldn't score before, now we scored. Now it's, a, a, um, it's time for us to win because once you win, now we, we win next week is now three games unbeaten and, and the script flips a little bit. So um, just need to get that win. Yeah, I'm very happy about uh, about the game. I feel uh, so good in the in the field and uh, okay, I'm uh, I'm trying to keep uh, my performance. Uh, to the next game and uh, yeah, I'm very happy to play my first my first game in the, into the 11 and uh, was a good game for us and uh, uh, we just we draw and uh, we was waiting for the first victory and uh, well, we are disappointed for this but we think we do uh, a good game. Well, you know, it was a chance to get Mauro out there in the field and see what he could do. And I thought he played very well. You know, I thought for 45 minutes he was very good. I thought in the second 45 he obviously ran out of gas a little bit, but he was still an intelligent player. He would still get into the corners and get corner kicks for us and things like that. So he really helped us out in, in that regard, and I tried to milk as many minutes out of him as possible. I think Mauro just got the ball, beat a couple guys. Um... You know, and I just saw him coming in late. I think somebody dragged a couple of defenders away, so I was able to sneak in and just get my right foot on it and put, push your pass push. This is what I have to do. You know what I'm, what I'm uh, doing. My best thing is when I I make assists and when I make one like two events, uh, then I'm glad to to play like that. You know, and then uh, I'm very happy for also for for him to score and uh, yeah, we have to keep. Uh, our energy for the next game and uh, work hard during the week to, to get uh, our field, uh, first victory. You know, Ziggy says it all the time, you, when you least expect it, you know, the ball's going to be there. You make that run one time and the ball's there, is, you know, you might not get it, but the next time, you know, the ball should be there. So, You know, we said to be aggressive in the box, to be first to the ball, take some risks, and that's what Brad did, and he got a goal, and that's what OB did as well on his goal. It's like, you know, we showed him scenes of, hey, you guys are two yards away. you got to be right there where their defender is, and he's able to be right there and knock it in. Uh, it was a good build-up, and once I saw Steve got it 1v1, the defender, I just waited, and once I see him got inside, I just pull away, and he played a good ball, and then, you know, just chase strong and work hard, and, you know, as Ziggy says sometimes, you keep work hard and things happen, so it happened for me today. When you get one, sometimes as a striker, you can go on a good streak. So I hope that can kickstart that for him. But um, no, we need to get goals from everywhere. Um, Brad scored a goal today, good assist by Moro. So uh, everybody needs to score. I think on this team, our strength is going to be our diversity and scoring. We have to get as many guys as possible to score. You know, it can't just say Freddie Montero needs to score the goals or Steve Zakwani or just O'Brien or just Jake. It has to be a collective effort. And um, so it's good to see that we had two different scorers today get the first goal of the season. No, it feels good to get the first goal, you know first couple of games came really close and you know now finally get a goal so that feels good you know just wish we had gotten the win and got the three points. Was that a fun game or what? <laughs>